All right, guys, so we're back. We're using my phone. My battery is getting full. Not my battery. My memory card is getting full on my GoPro. We're going to use the heating gun. We're currently at 95, but I'm going to show you guys each one. It's around 95. Now it went up to 96 because it's getting hot. Right now, today's supposed to be 80, 84. Anyway, so what are we going down? So 95, all four of them are running. Like, they're all around the same Fahrenheit. So we're gonna turn on the bike, we put the new spark plugs in. We're gonna see if each one of them are gonna heat up roughly about the same level like we are now, it's 95. So I haven't turned it on yet, so we're gonna turn it on now and then recheck the thermals. Uh, I gotta do this with one hand. Um, I'm gonna put you guys like this. Uh, exhaust on the east side, well, headers. So 
the inners are going to be more hotter than the, the outer. So again, we'll check this side. The sun is beaming on this side. to shut it off completely and then um, wait for it to prime all over again all right so she just got done priming to see how she turns on oh that's so much better that was instant sorry I, I talked like that but we'll do it again but that was instant I think the first one was because of the Like I said, I drowned, I drowned it because I was doing a, a test. So fuel was going in. I should have unplugged um, the fuel pump. I should have did that. So there was no fuel going into the motor and drowning the motor. But it looks like it fixed itself. So we'll do it again. So I want you to see how quick it starts up compared to the first time of us starting it up. That time it was a little, little sluggish. Plus she's very hot, she's at 195. See that time it started up faster. So I think it just depends um, where the um the crank is probably coming over like the, not the crank uh the uh starter motor is at on the teeth because they got teeth and uh so it's one gear pushing another gear so it probably depends where the gear stops at to where it cranks right over really fast but it's so much better compared to what it was with the other spark plugs so i'm hoping it's just the spark plugs and that was it we did i did change out the the clutch um no leakage no leakage that i see but um this is my second time changing out that clutch uh it got new fuel pump new fuel filter um fuel pressure regulator new injectors but i bought uh aftermarket no no not aftermarket i'm sorry uh used coil packs from ebay and now new spark plugs. Also checked my uh, Power Commander map. Everything is inside the Power Commander. Like nothing got erased, nothing deleted, nothing, nothing funky. Um, I put a lot of money and work into her. So hopefully 
these spark plugs are the the fix to my problem and then all i gotta do is just finish her up getting pretty because this paint i don't like these fenders from ebay the paints are going bad already chipping i mean some of it was my fault but some of it wasn't i don't know if a kid hit my hit my bike but there's a, a white mark right there so i got i'm thinking again like a a, a a pain pain pen one of those like um things you can just it's a quick fix um but it's not the bike's not going to look perfect but i just want her to be reliable um and uh more mafias i ordered some stuff on his website so i'm waiting for that to come in i'm thinking of putting his stickers i gotta figure out where i'm gonna put his stickers at on the bike but anyway so this is going to be the video after the test ride uh so there's three videos coming out which is me changing out the coil pack I'm, damn it i'm messing up the clutch plates to see if that worked then it's going to be explaining uh the issue with the spark plugs and also doing a test ride in that video and then this will be the last video for this problem if it's fixed i mean i'm still going to post it but but anyways guys i hope it was helpful and another reason why i made this video is so you can use the thermal gun that might help you guys out so i'll see how i'm going to put the title in the video but anyways everybody ride safe drive safe make sure y'all subscribe to my channel put a like put comments um i, I really appreciate it i work hard for mines you know what i'm saying like you guys see the the hard work i do myself but anyways uh Everybody ride safe, drive safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.